Well, hi, and welcome to another training video. Now, uh, last night I took three trades, um, which we're going to go over in a minute and do some sort of live analysis on those as we go. But uh, anyway, there was three trades. So there was a minus 16 pips to, to start with. Uh, then we had a plus 27 and a plus 17. So basically a, a wrong trade to start with and then two successful trades. Although the, all those three trades were in the same direction. But before I get to the, the, the why, if you like, and the how of what I did, I just want to go over something on the whiteboard uh, to sort of try and pull this together and understand. So when you look at these trades that I did, I want you to understand, uh, let's say, the, the method in which I used to actually take these trades and how they came about. So let's get over onto the whiteboard now. We'll have a look on there and uh, see if we can bring it all together for you. Okay, so here we are on the whiteboard. Now what I want to do is explain some few things to you. Well, now if you're not a PAT user, there's going to be some things here that uh, you, you don't sort of recognize, but that's, that's okay because you can still use the, uh, the same um, process that I'm explaining to you here anyway. But, uh, but just from a PAT user perspective at the moment, you know, we have the high volume turns, we have 60 many volume we look at, we're looking at testing, we're looking at stop takes, TFTs, and a trade finder tool, and then the trade range finder tool, and a few other tools that we have in PAT where we bring all this information together. Now, a lot of traders, well, obviously a lot of students, all students really, when they start off, of course, I'm, I'm teaching you about these individual things to look at in the PAT software. And of course, I want you to identify, be able to identify these and use these tools to then make uh, or bring an understanding of the market. And then so you can actually start to understand the, where you are now and where you're really going in the future, i.e. taking successful trades. Now, of course, but there comes a, there comes a point um, and this would be a different time scale for everybody. Some people it can happen in a month, some people it might, might take six months. It, it, it's not really, well, so I was going to say it's not really important when it takes place. It is important, of course, because obviously there's a period of time where you can't just keep going on without making money. You've got to get in there and start making money so you're paying for everything, obviously, and generating the money that you want to generate from your trading. But there comes a point where all this has to go through a, a transition, and it goes through this transition and you've got to bring all this into one single thing. Now, what do I mean by this? You can't be continue to look at the market and continue to look at, uh, I'm going to enter when I see this high volume turn or when I see this 60 minute volume here or, or when I see this. In other words, you can't be taking these as individual items and saying, OK, when this, this and this and this happens, that's the point I'm going to trade. Now, by all means, of course, we're going to be looking at certain points to say, okay, well, here we see we might see a high volume turn, and that will that will prompt us, let's say, to say, okay, now we should be looking at the market because now highly likely we're going to get a trade. However, when we take all this away, and I want to take all this away, you need to scrub all this out of your mind. So all this is gone. So you make this transition, and then you go through this transition, and what you end up with is when you look at a chart which I'm going to show you about in a minute how I've done these trades last night, what you end up with is a sense of knowing. A sense of knowing. Now, what is a sense of knowing? Um, in many things in life, you know, we can, we can uh, be driving down the road um, we're coming up to a, uh, we're coming up to a junction. Maybe it's a concealed junction. I'm just using this as an example, and we sort of anticipate we anticipate that somebody might be coming out, and we get a sense of knowing that maybe things not quite right. And sure enough, somebody comes out, and there we are. Our sense of knowing. We take no, we, we take that for granted. That sense of knowing. We just we don't even think about it. It's something that we have, and it's, of course it's built within us, or say it, it, it develops within us through experience. So in other words, we're looking at things, we're driving along the car, we're learning all this stuff, and gradually this experience builds up to the point where we don't have to think about it. We don't think about the gear we're in, the speed we're going, what colour the car's coming out, or anything like this at all. We just develop a sense of knowing about what we have to do and what might occur. And this is what has to happen with trading. If this doesn't happen with trading, you are going to continually spend your time looking for indicators, redeveloping new indicators, because you're constantly trying to reinvent something or find this system, this one, two, three trade that works. And that doesn't exist because no market, no two markets, or no market is, is the same from one day to the next. Even though we may have the same shape or the same patterns, the content of that market is different. So what we have to do is to develop this sense of knowing. And when you get this sense of knowing, 
What, do, what does it feel like? It's when you step up to the trading screen, you might see a particular thing, let's say a high volume turn, you might see a test or some stop taking, and that fires something within you that says, aha, okay, I understand where this market's highly likely to go. It's that sense of knowing. And it's that point there that you're ready to trade. Now, a lot of traders will get this, even new traders will get this, but what they do is then, they then second guess. So they then go off and say, okay, uh, the, the brain says, I get this sense of knowing, oh yes, the market's gonna go up, or oh yes, the market's gonna go down. Okay, wh why might that be? And then they jump back into the mechanicalized structure of doing what they're doing, or the me mechanicalized breakdown of the chart. And in that moment, they are lost. Now what I want to do now is shoot back over to the charts, have a look what happened, how I took these trades, why they worked out, and why one didn't, and uh, see if we can take you forward on that. So let's catch up now on the, on the charts. Okay, well here we are on the 15-minute uh, chart. I'm going to be looking at this chart in, um, because this is where, where I took the, chart, took the trades on. This is the chart that I had up when I said, okay, this is where I'm going to enter the market. But also we're going to be looking at the 60-minute chart to see where, the, uh, where I got the sense of knowing from, where, where I got that first inclination, that, okay, got this, got it nailed, this is what the market's gonna do. So let's have a quick look at the, uh, at the 60 minute chart. Okay, here we are on a 60 minute chart. I'm going to take off this um, indicator here, and I get rid of this, get rid of that one there. So it's got a bla basic blank chart here. Now, of course, if you're not looking at patch charts, if you're not a PAT user, this won't make a lot of sense to you, but hopefully you'll be able to follow along and see the logic of this, because I'm sure that you will pick up this, some pointers out of here anyway. Okay, what's the first thing that, uh, that happened here? Now, I've got a line drawn up here at 12.31, one spot 12.31, you can see. It's running through this bar here, this is PAT bar, this little bar, the belief bar, and you can see that underneath here we've got this standout volume, this high volume. So on this hour, this particular hour, this is where this, this volume came up, and this was quite a significant uh, time, let us say, in the market on this particular day. Now, I'm actually looking at the market over here, of course, because this is when I took my trade. Now, why was this? Well, simply because I turned on the market on May the 12th yesterday, had a quick look at this, and thought, aha, okay, I, I can see something here that's highly likely to occur, and uh, this is, I'm, I'm gonna trade this. So I had the sense of knowing from here. Now the sense of knowing was kicked off, let's say, because I know that these high volume points here, when Pat shows these up like this and we get this big belief bar, I know that these areas are like a magnet. And you can see that thereafter, how the market actually messes around through this period, it becomes sort of almost stopped to it, if you like. Market then goes on, and then I see the market start to move up and then start to head back up. Now, let's just go back over to the 15 minute so we can see what occurred on there. So on the first trade, I actually uh, bought the market on the 745 bar. Let's just click on this for you so you can see. 745, there we go, on that bar there. Now, if I want to break this down uh, without the sense of knowing, but that's why I bought the bar there, I'll break this down. Quickly when I turn to the 15 minute, what did I see? Look at this down here. The market comes down, jump bar up, underlying strength. My target line I brought through, 1231, the high volume uh, line brought forward from that day there, 1231, let's put that back on there. I think that's my target as well. The market's highly likely to get up to this area here. Anyway, so gets in here, I, I actually came, this is the point, 7.5 when I actually turned the chart off, so, so I hadn't, you know, I wasn't around when this occurred. Had this occurred here, I would have bought the market on this as I saw this, this jump bar up here. Anyway, so I bought the market here and uh, put a stop underneath and I got a little bit too soon, the market came back down, stopped me out, and uh, I thought, okay, well that's it, 16 pips loss. Let's see now what happens from there. Almost immediately, I saw the market start to react back up again. I thought, aha, okay, the whole story is still there, still sense of knowing this market is going to go up and it's gonna get up to 12.31. So I entered the market again. This time I bought it on the 8.15 bar, um, which is this one here. No, sorry, 8.30, 8.15 bar, this one here. So just as I saw that start to come back up, I bought it at uh, one spot 11.94 on the 8.15 bar, and then I bought it again at 11.205, so I just increased the lots as I went up, the, uh, up here, because I knew what was gonna happen, and um, I profited then. So now where do I get out of this market? Because like I said many times in videos, any fool can get into market, it takes a bit of skill knowing where to get out. Not too difficult, pop on our trade range finder, there we go, put it on the bottom, start of the market down there, start of the move down there, here's my exit up here. Now, what I did do, actually, I came out at, um, 
I pretty convinced 31 would be failure, but when I saw the 90 pip, 90 pip move, I thought, okay, I'm gonna come out there at 21, just underneath that, uh, and uh, I'll be assured that I'll pick up those uh, pips profit, as it were. And I did actually e exit on one of the trades at uh, 12.21, and I entered the other one at 12.22. So one gave me a tw plus 27, the other gave me a plus 17. Take off the loss, and I had a net of 28 pips. Okay, so that's it. That's what was involved in that trade there. I hope this has been uh, helpful to you. I'll be uh, popping a few more of these up for you very soon. And hopefully you can follow along and make some sense of this and get some great pips under your belt. I'll catch up with you very soon. Pat's software turns confusion into clarity and complex into simple. Pat's easy to understand, easy to use, and a complete training solution. If you're not a member of the Pat team, then maybe you'd like to have a look. We have an active forum where you can come take a look at what we do in more depth and you get to communicate with Pat users and find out what they're up to and how they're doing. If you'd like to pop in and have a look, then when this video finishes, shoot over to learntotrade.com, find the big button that says visit the forum, click on that, and you'll go to the forum registration page. Top right corner of that page, you'll see a button that says create account. Click that, fill out your subscription details, and before you know it, even if you don't have Pat software, you'll quickly see how transparent markets are and how you can profit from them when you truly understand how the market maker's method works. I'll see you on the other side.